we find ourselves three verses from the very end of the gospel. And once again, we will focus on one verse. John chapter 21, verse 23. And I pray that you will join me in seeing that God is making a point while teaching a principle that ties back to my first two questions. You see, the point is going to be singular. The principle is going to be eternal. And it ties back in to this question of how important is it that you truly listen carefully to God and his word? And how important is it that you get it right when you think that you know God and his word? And I will tell you from personal experience as one who has lived without a mother and as a pastor who's been called and equipped by God to equip you that this is eternally important and it's not just a matter of practicalities. And so I'm gonna ask you to walk with me this morning in a way that I pray will inform your walk for the rest of your life and equip you to equip others to walk this same walk with God per his descriptions and per his priorities as given to us in his word. And then last week in verses 21 and 22, we see not only has Peter now been restored and reminded, he's actually rebuked. Hey, what is that to you? Our language, Jesus said, hey, Peter, mind your own business and follow me. It's about obedience. Stop worrying about other people and you do what you know to do. You follow me. Well, that's what brings us to verse 23 this morning. And here's what God says. Now, you're going to see that God gives us a little commentary here. Verse 23 is a commentary on verses 21 and 22. Because of this, because of Jesus just rebuking Peter and saying, hey, listen, don't you worry about him, follow me. Because of this, the rumor, the rumor spread among the brothers, among the believers. Three different Greek words here. Rumor spread among the believers that this disciple would not die. That's the rumor. The rumor that spread was, hey, did you hear? John's not going to die. But Jesus did not say that. Please hear that. But Jesus did not say that. He did not say that he would not die. He only said, quote, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? I ask you, friends, is it important that you not succumb or be a part of rumors? I ask you, friends, is it important that you not succumb or be a part of the spreading of rumors? I ask you, friends, have you come to realize the fact that that doesn't just happen outside the body of Christ, but that rumors can be spread amongst the believers and do you realize that the rumors that can be spread amongst the believers is not in line with what Jesus said? This is a reality that must be embraced in order for the body of Christ to be healthy.